Pisces, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, this is going to be a general reading, so if it does resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get Spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. For more clarity on your situation, pop on over to your sun, moon, and rising signs. And if you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and Spirit, all of the details are going to be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He is over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We are going to be pulling a final message from your angels. Now, let us dive right in because understand that you are being guided right now through the uh, sense of feeling that you feel, okay? Um, sometimes we register being guided as we hear voices or we see things or it will be clear, like it will be like a, 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 a clear, obvious this is what I'm supposed to do. Um, understand though that generally the subtleties of your energy is what is guiding you. So if we are not attuned to our energy body and our intuition, then the guidance is going to be overlooked and missed. That is why we recommend Beautiful Soul to the first thing, connect to the higher part of you, which is gonna come through stillness, meditations, and ultimately in, in enjoying and feeling the sense of peace and bliss and 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 release any restraint restrictions you may have put upon yourself to make something happen or do something for yourself. The journey of expansion is always happening. It's up to us to be able to interpret it. And sometimes that means we have to let go and forget it all to actually remember. So we are asking you now on your journey to have a beginner's mind when it comes to the abilities and availabilities to us. And that means that if we have it in our heads that you must work really hard to make money, you must have a degree to become hired at a substantially paying job. You must have uh, look a certain way to attract in a certain person or be this to get this, whatever the conditioning may be. We want you to eliminate all of that beautiful soul because it is merely that, just conditioning. Energy attracts energy. Whatever energy you feel is what you attract in. So we want you to understand that if you feel abundant, you will attract in abundance. If you feel romantic, Romantic and sexy, you will attract in a partner that will provide you a romantic and very much a good conversation and a, a lit good listener, right? And you will feel sexy together, right? That will be the end result of that. And we see that here with the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. So if that is something you are desiring, then you must be that for yourself right now. So that means not doing things that are out of that category, that intention, you see. Being a leader of your life means recognizing what you desire, how you wish to feel, how your desired feeling state would feel like, and then being that for yourself right now. And understanding that when you go against that choice consciously, it will feel very bad for you because you'll be going against what your natural desires are, what your spirit is. So understand that you are here, first of all, to inspire and empower others that first starts with yourself, beautiful soul. You must first be in your own awareness of inspiring and empowering yourself. And that means paying attention to the subtleties of what you actually want, what you actually desire. Now, the universe is letting you know that with watching a movie card coming forward, it's time to pay attention to where you're getting your resources. What are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you reading? Because everything that you, uh, allow in your awareness is going to condition you to believe a certain way. So a lot of the movies and influences here on public, you know, movie channels have an agenda. Okay. Those agendas go into our subconscious. Okay. And we want you to be aware of those agendas. We also want you to be aware of how something makes you feel when you watch it. Does it make you feel connected? Does it make you feel more intuitive? Does it make you feel like you are letting go and enjoying and laughing? And Or does it make you feel something other than how you desire to feel? We want you to be very aware of where you're getting your information, okay? Because it's not always going to benefit you. And that is up to us to be able to, again, be the leaders of our life here and make sure that we are 
being conscious of every choice that we are making so that we can better ourselves. Because if we do not take the lead of our life and make the necessary actions that, that, that align with our intentions, we are going to feel very unworthy in life. We're going to feel very disconnected from who we really are. And we are not going to feel our worth. We're not even going to understand what, what, what worth in ourselves even feels like because we are not doing what we know we must do. And so what we see here is that there is a lot of overthinking all of your ideas, which is leading to energetic burnout. When we are energetically burnt out, we go into a nostalgic thinking process. We, our memories of the past creep forward. What if I had done this? What if I had done that? If only this person worked, if only this had, if I only, I had not said this thing, I can't believe I told that joke. What was I thinking? All of the nostalgic limiting beliefs that we hold ourselves in, that energy will not serve you. As a matter of fact, it will only leave you feeling really really insecure and very unconfident with who you are as a being. That is not who you are, beautiful soul. That is an experience you went through most likely in an unconscious state, all right? So you cannot blame yourself for things that were done or things that were said if you were not aware of the energy transmute between you and that other person, you and that situation. How were you supposed to know if you were not connected to your higher self? Let that go. Let all of that go. It's irrelevant. It is irrelevant and it makes no sense to hold yourself in a prison or a jail of, of past regrets or past experiences. We want you now to, again to open up to what is currently happening and where are you looking to take your life. That is the only thing that is relevant, not the past. How do you desire to feel? Be that for yourself now because we see here with the temperance in reverse that you are disconnected and imbalanced in life due to a disconnection of the guidance of the universe or in other words your higher self your higher self connection is the only one that matters because your intuition is the voice of your higher self. So when we are not connected to our energy body or our inner guidance, AKA our higher self, we are doing things that are very reactive to past memories, hence limiting beliefs and, and staying in familiar patterns of habit and thought because we are more connected to our past than we are where we desire to go and consciously making choices from this present to get there, to transition into that, you see? And so if you, again, are looking for a relationship that is romantic and loving and creative and compassionate and connected, then you must be that for yourself right now, which means you have to let go of past experiences you have had with others that did not resemble this. You cannot remind yourself, oh, I came from toxic relationships, but I want this. You're pairing the past with the future. It doesn't connect. You're just gonna be spiraling around the same, going on the same hamster wheel of life and getting nowhere. You have to be present in the moment and say, thank you for my awareness that I am, I am good with what I have been through. No longer am I looking for that. Thank you for the contrast that allows me to know what I want. And I know what I want. I want romance. I want connection and I want, I want to communication. So then you know, this is what I desire. And then you set the intention universe. This is what I'm looking for. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then you be that for yourself. You don't look for things, you know, validation in your outer world. You know, some, you bump into someone and it's a, it's a, it's a being that you find, you know, physically attractive. And then all of a sudden you're, Oh, is this them? None of them. You allow the universe to organically guide you and you'll know by how it feels. But if our thinking mind is, is this them or could, what if this happens again, then we are controlling our, our situation and we are not being guided. So all you have to do is set the intention of what you desire and then allow universe to guide you into it by your feeling state. See your feeling state, you will always know you are attracting what you want because of how you feel in the moment. So when you feel joy and bliss, you know you are aligning with all of the intentions that your higher self has set, whether this be in the form of relationship, whether this be in the form of service or purpose. Either way, there is going to be clarity that is going to come forward for you here very soon. Judgment day is here for you and things are all going to make sense for you very soon. And so we want to remind you that as long as you are 
staying in the flow of what you desire, then you, love is going to show up for you. And that's what exactly is validated by your angels today. What do you desire? And then here we have the Cupid card, right? Which are the two messages that bring forward the, the, the collective together is that decide what you want and then be that today, right? So if you're desiring romantic communication and connection uh, from your lover and from your partner and romance, then you must romance yourself. You must, you know, be uh, aware of when you are take, doing things and making choices from in your life that don't treat yourself with kindness and respect, that where you're intentionally, consciously not taking the lead and doing things for yourself, but you're, you know, letting the energy of the situation take your power, you see? So we want you to understand that whatever you desire is always here for you. But when we are so much more focused on what has happened, right, to us instead of for us, right, then we give away our power and then we are unable to connect to what is readily available for us. And we see here that there is a relationship waiting for you. Romantic, okay, passion, connection, right, creative, creative with these two cups. And it's here, but Remind yourself of who you are and be that version of yourself now, right? So that you can attract them in instead of you trying to find them, which will never work in the grand scheme of things. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was, like, share and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.